Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk about leader lines. Now, oftentimes in the exam, you won't have to just draw out random shapes and measure between them. Instead, there will be points or references, and you'll have to draw your shapes based off of those references. And one of the ways they communicate this is through leader lines. Now, if you're not familiar with what a leader line is, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a default one by clicking the leader button up here. And then at this center point here, let's see if it'll let me draw one in. You know, I'm gonna draw this line out and I'm gonna click over there. And then I'm gonna type in a letter like A or something. Okay, and this is a leader line. It's a line that points at a point. And one of your requirements on the exam could be like, draw a circle of radius 12 at point A or whatever, and it would be pointing at this, but there wouldn't be any shape here, you know, there would be nothing there, and then you'd have to be like, okay, I need to draw a circle, so you grab your circle tool, you start there, and you draw it out with a radius of 12, okay? So that information will be communicated to you. Now, for those of you who have never created leader lines before, I wanted to kind of tell you or show you how to make them, customize them because they're going to show up in different forms on the exam. So you should be familiar with, you know, what they look like. Okay, so the most default way of making a leader line is simply clicking on this button over here and then kind of just specifying a point, clicking away and typing in a letter, okay? This is like the most generic version, but it's not very customized. The arrow's tiny, the letter's small, hard to read and everything. So instead, what we usually want to do is customize that um, so that it makes sense for a project. The quickest way to do that is to use the command m leader style, okay? And it's this first one over here. You're gonna click on it and it's gonna open up the m leader style manager and you have your standard style which is just this generic one over here. But let's go ahead and create a new style. So I'm gonna click new and we'll just click, we'll call this like larger leader or something just because we want to make a larger leader line that's more visible uh, and can be used throughout the entire project. And we'll start with the standard, but we're going to modify it. So I'm going to press continue and then this opens up. Okay. So some information about it. Do you want it to be a straight line or a spline? You can see the difference right away. Uh, typically, if I recall, a uh, straight line was used more on the exam. Then next is color. You know, what color would you like these to be? Um, usually the color is very, um, apparent on the exam so you can like snap to it really quickly um, and then you got your line type do you want a continuous line or by block you got your weights of your line what this is going to mean is like a thicker line do you want a thicker line or a thinner line uh, you'll be able to adjust that and then you have your arrow do you want it to communicate an arrow it was for the most part an arrow but if you wanted it to be something different on the end you're allowed to change that and then the size of that object. So you can make it bigger or smaller, okay? So you have a lot of freedom to adjust what this leader line is. Uh, and then you can just go ahead, press okay, press close. And now when you use that leader line tool, so if I click on leader and I click on a point and I move away, you'll see right away that, oh, we should have made it more bigger, but um, you can see right away that it has kind of impacted it. And let, just, just to make sure that it is working, let's go back to M leader line or M leader style. And let's go ahead and create a new style, which is gonna be a copy of larger leader. And I'm gonna make this one, and I'm gonna make this uh, double, okay? So I've essentially doubled everything about it. We're gonna use that, press close, and then I'm gonna use that leader line tool and kind of click away, okay? So you can see right away that it does make an impact and it does kind of change uh, what you're doing with your leader lines. Now I can type something in like the letter B and the letter B is coming out really small. It's coming out the wrong colors and everything. Um, you are able to customize that letter on its own. Simply double click on it and then it's gonna open up like the sizing of it. So you're gonna be able to you know, adjust the sizing of the letter. Make sure you select it first, um, okay? Um, and then you're able to also adjust the color of the letter um, over here. So you do have plenty of customization over leader lines and you will be seeing them throughout the exam. So it's good to be familiar with their application. Okay, 
Uh, hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.